Rods, blood, and bullets. That's what it takes to make a great movie. I'm scared of Danny. Danny would kick my ass. <laughs> my character is a guy named Goldberg. He's the best mechanic in the penitentiary. And he's the one that gets the Mustang, the secret little shit, you know. Puts a little wrench here and a little wrench there. He kind of like has this thing tuned to find perfection. I'm a Chevy guy myself. Huh? I had to have this book, How to Cue Your Actors. I was like, Danny Trio, let me see how I cue your actors. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker's crazy! But cool. I was quite surprised. He's a very beautiful person. He comes across as quite a scary looking guy. I mean, he's, he's well known for his boxing and I just love his story. Have you heard a story? I basically was state raised. I grew up in Juneau Hall and camp and prison. And when I got out of prison, I was a drug counselor and I worked with kids trying to stay off of drugs. And one of the kids that I was working with said that there was a lot of cocaine at his job. And would I come to support him? And I said, sure. And he was a PA in a movie about convicts. I happened to be an ex convict And uh, this guy asked me, hey, do you want to be in this movie? And I said, sure, what do I got to do? And he said, can you act like a convict? I said, uh, I'll give it a shot. Did you do these tattoos yourself? No. Uh, I've helped with this, the shading, but a guy named Harry Ross did this. That's hand done with a needle and thread. That's <laughs> it was voted the most famous tattoo in the world by International Tattoo Magazine. He's cool as What can you say? Danny Trail, man.